Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. In this video I wanted to give you a full review of the Redrix's Claymore Pulse Rifle, the uh, Fabled Rank exclusive reward that requires you to acquire a Season 3 Crucible Glory Rank of 2100 points in order to pick it up from Shax. Now, uh, note that Shax doesn't keep track of your highest rank, to, uh, your highest rank achieved. So as soon as you hit 2100, you're gonna want to go back to the tower and pick it up. If you hit 2100 and then lose your next match and go back down below 2100, Shax won't let you pick it up until you get that rank back up. So just a side note. Now uh, I've been able to spend a lot of time with this gun now, so I've got a pretty good understanding of how uh, how it works and how well it works. Uh, the gun is, in my in my opinion, it's the best kind of reward for a ranked grinding player. It's not OP, it doesn't give them an unfair advantage, but it's definitely really good and is super unique and super rewarding to use. Now, the Claymore has two perks that work in tandem to make it what it is. It's, uh, it's a precision archetype pulse with a low rate of fire, but with a high impact. So it can kill in seven bullets. Now, the Claymore comes with Outlaw, so when you get a headshot kill, you, you can reload the weapon much more quickly. But the second perk is called Desperado, and it works in tandem uh, with Outlaw. So when you reload with Outlaw, meaning when you get a headshot kill and then you reload the gun, uh, you then have seven seconds, this is Desperado, you then have seven seconds where the weapon can fire at the fastest rate of fire possible for a pulse rifle. It feels like a grasp of Malak or a 123 Syzygy or a Clever Dragon from Destiny, uh, Destiny 1, but it, it doesn't lose any impact, so it's still a 7 bullet kill, uh, but the gun fires wicked fast and it's, it's honestly it's crazy fun. And uh, if you get a headshot kill while Desperado is active, you just reload again and restart that 7 second timer. It's, it's one of the most fun ways to play PvP, period. So watch this clip where I get uh, one initial kill and then five more Desperado kills, chaining the timer. Ikora would be proud of you, Warlock. Now the Claymore can't straight up outgun a Vigilance or a Graviton without Desperado active. And that's one of the reasons I say it's not OP, it's pretty well in line, because um, generally speaking, uh, Vigilance and Graviton are just, they're, they're more consistently lethal guns across a wider variety of scenarios. So those guns are just a little bit more reliable, a little bit more lethal than the uh, than the Claymore is. And sometimes you feel at a disadvantage while you're using the gun because of its archetype, the precision archetype. But the re rewarding feeling that you get for stringing kills together is, is it's unparalleled in the game. So one of the hardest things about the gun is deciding when you have Desperado active whether you should push or not. I mean, it's a shredding machine when the perk is up, but often when it's active, it means that you just came out of a fight and you're already hurt a little. So if you instantly push with Desperado, you can get one burst by most relevant pulse rifles. Uh, you have to temper your desire to use the perk and consider if it's wise uh, for you to rush into a lane. It's, it's easy to be overconfident with Desperado active, I found, so you have to try and temper that. Now, I found I really enjoyed coupling this pulse with an energy sidearm like the Rattler and then using the tractor cannon for some cheeky super denials along the way. And uh, you could use, um, it, this would couple well with an SMG, it would probably couple well with a, a hand cannon in the energy slot as well. One of the things uh, that it's got going for it is it's legendary, it's not exotic, so it doesn't require you to sacrifice an exotic slot in order for you to use it like a Vigilance or a Graviton would. So you can use an energy uh, an energy exotic or you could use uh, a power weapon exotic or maybe an Acrius if you're a, a tryhard PvP player. So you have some options there that, that are open to you. Now since it's legendary that also means that you can masterwork the thing. And uh, I, I'm out of, I am fresh out of cores. I've masterworked so many guns since uh, the DLC dropped that I'm out of cores. I managed to masterwork my uh, Claymore but I haven't been able to, to get the right roll on it yet. So. I've rolled it twice and I didn't get what I wanted, so I've used um, 
I've used a mag size increase. Then that's what I've got going on right now. Before that, it was reload speed. But what I really want, what I really, really want is a little bit extra range. I want to get that masterwork for range uh, for the pulse rifle. I think that would really be the cat's pajamas on this thing. Just make it just a little bit more consistent at range, especially since that first kill that you need to get to proc Desperado is often a kill where you're trying to lane somebody at range. So it would be, it'd be helpful if you had a little bit extra range on the thing so you can get the, the snowball rolling, so to speak, a little bit more consistently. So I think this might end up being my go-to quick play loadout. Um, you know, I probably won't use the Claymore much in uh, in competitive play, just because you're doing a lot of team fire and team pushes, and you need you just need something that can uh, more quickly and rapidly put uh, put guns down, or put, put guns down, or just throwing guns at people, put bullets down range into people for team fire. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay and the kill streaks. And um, also, I, I would note, I think it's worth noting, that the gun is actually pretty good in PvE too. So if you're a PvE junkie, proccing the Desperado perk is super easy to do. You just shoot a Thrall in its face or a, a Goblin in the chest or whatever it may be. It's super easy to get a precision kill, reload the gun, and then just empty your magazine into something for a little bit extra DPS on uh, on bigger targets or even for crowd control just mowing mowing down the crowds with the desperado perk very it's it's pretty useful in pve as well so i look forward to seeing you around the stream sometime feel free to come check it out and hang out with us at stream seven days a week we got some fun stuff on the horizon i'll be uh, traveling to vegas for the destiny 2 pvp pc tournament in vegas at the esports arena i will be shout casting the event with mtash he and i are going to tag team Shoutcast the event should, should be a should be a whole lot of fun. It's uh, for St. Jude's charity, and um, that'll be a blast. So that's June twenty second through the twenty fourth. Feel free to tune into the streams for that activity. Uh, also, on top of that, um, there's a roaster called Madcap Coffee. Madcap, and um, they are the roaster that I tend to default to. This is where I get my coffee from. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't get paid to endorse their product, but uh, I reached out to them since that's the coffee that I drink and I drink it on stream all the time. People ask me, what are, what are you drinking? Well, since I've already been drinking this stuff for years, I reached out to them and asked if I can get a discount code uh, for our Twitch community, but I'm gonna, obviously I can just extend it to you guys too here on YouTube. But uh, if you're interested, they roast coffee on order. And uh, so by the time it gets to you, you're drinking coffee that was roasted two days ago. It's, it's super freaking good. It's, they're uh, one of the more notable roasters in uh, in the states and one of the best in my opinion so if you use my name true vanguard when you check out as a discount code it'll just take a dollar off every bag of coffee you order so if you're interested in that feel free to take advantage of that I'll extend that offer to y'all as well uh, thanks for watching the video thanks for watching the gameplay and uh, hopefully i'll catch you in the crucible